Here's the completed Moravian workbench that I've been working on. I followed Will Myers' excellent video. Uh, he went through step by step, leaving little doubt about what to do. So technically, it was uh, pretty straightforward. You don't need uh, a lot of um, uh, hand tools, but you basically need a, a set of, of basic hand tools. Um, so I did it in, in about a week. And it um, wasn't that difficult mentally, but physically there was a lot of uh, work, especially with, uh, with the brace and bit on some of these uh, big mortises. So uh, we have the top here, which is a glue laminated southern yellow pine. I went with the softer wood, one, because it's inexpensive, and two, because it absorbs impact a little better. Uh, it doesn't give you that kind of ringing feeling when you're, when you're hitting it with a tool. We got the blacksmith vise, which is not standard on a workbench, but with my golf club making, this would have been the standard type of vise that club makers use. And I think they used it for a couple of reasons. Number one, the vise sits well above the bench top, so the club maker won't be uh, bending over as much. And for example, I have a, a line here. It's hard to see that line if the uh, workpiece is lower. So it, it helps to, to see that without crouching over. The other thing is you'll notice when the jaw opens, it angles this way. And that angle combined with the bevel here ends up um, getting the jaw out of the way. So you can really angle that, um, that rasp and not worry about hitting it. The downside is if you do hit it, you're gonna, you might get damage to your rasp. So that's vice number one, which wasn't typical. And this is a typical uh, one here. This is a leg vice. This is uh, what you would use for woodworking. Um, have that top even with the uh, top of the workbench. And I built this, uh, showed a video on Instagram, how I inset the little nut here, which was, has a very regular shape. I was thinking of just simply putting it on the back, but that would have I would have lost uh, th three inches of width in my uh, vise. Here's also that uh, rectangular mortise that I made to hold this uh, leg vise bar. And that bar prevents the leg vise from swinging back and forth. And it also helps to provide more pressure when you're um, applying the clamp uh, to the piece of, of wood. The third vise I have is a tail vise. This is just a Harbor Freight vise, seven inch vise. And it should suffice for this five foot uh, long workbench top. I have my shaft making cradle in here, golf shaft making cradle, and a bunch of dog holes. And I made it, I made sure that this would fit on there so I could make golf shafts if I wanted to. You can see the tusk tenons here. The uh, stretchers are completely removable. The undercarriage is relatively light uh, despite having a hardwood, soft maple. Uh, legs and stretchers and southern yellow pine long stretcher here. The um, tool tray in the back is uh, very simple. I left the ends open on purpose so that uh, I could just dump the dust out of there. I left a little rabbit here and if I want I'll put a, a piece of wood on top by putting stri a strip of wood here and I can just set a um, piece of wood on top. Uh, um, also, I might end up, I'll probably put a shelf on top of this and I could put a small tool chest or something like that as well. well. Let me show you how this tool tray comes off. So you just lift it and you can, and then you could just dump it into the garbage, all the dust in there. Uh, now you see these, there's a bar here that sits next to the top stretcher of the leg. There's another bar here. So that this little piece strip of wood is screwed in on the underside. So if you look on the underside, we have the maple leg that's protruding out from the stretcher. So that allows that bar to uh, rest in place and I can't pull the tray out. I left a little bit of room here so that when, when this tabletop expands with humidity, it's not going to uh, cause things to buckle. So that's it in a nutshell. That's the Moravian workbench that uh, Will Myers so nicely uh, explained in his video. I'm happy to have it. So I have a nice place to work uh, in good weather. And in case I want to go somewhere and do a, a big project somewhere else, I can uh, haul this thing um, and, and stick it in the back of my hatchback.